Hey everyone, it's Amanda and today I'm here to do my October favorites video for you guys. I have some really fun things to talk about so I'm just going to jump right on in. I cannot believe October is over. I like how that rhymes. Anyways, let's jump right on in. The first thing that I've been really digging is something from my birch box. Actually two of these are from my birch box, but the first one is called Oro Fluido. I don't know if you'll even be able to see this. But um, what it is, is it's a hair oil. Um, it increases silkiness, lightness, and shine. And they call it a beauty elixir for your hair. Um, it has argan oil, and it smells really good. And I just really, really like this. Um, you can see I've been using it, but a little goes a long way, just like your regular argan oil. But I think this is something, when I run out of my other one, I might purchase this, because I think I might like this better than the one that I bought at Sally's that I've talked about before. So something to throw out there. The next thing is also a hair product. And this is my Con Air Infinity Curling Wand. And I love this thing. It is awesome. I do have a video about how I use this. Um, I'll link it in the down box. But... Just so you know, it's great. It goes all the way up to like 400 degrees. It gets really, really hot and it's super fast. This is one of the only things that I can do to my hair that um, doesn't take me like hours. So love this guy. Another thing for my birch box is my Spackle by Laura Geller. I actually really like this product. I was really surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it. This is the tinted under makeup primer and it's in the color bronze and when you put it on, um, it's pretty much sheer and um, like it doesn't really bronze that much. I mean a tiny bit but once you really, I put a lot on, but once you really rub it in, I mean it might make your hand a tiny bit darker I'd say, but very little and... You probably can't even see it. It's got a tiny bit of shimmers to it, but once your makeup's on, you don't even really notice it, to be honest. What I really like about this is this is one of the few primers that I've tried that's actually moisturizing, so that is really cool, and um, like they say, little goes a long way with this guy, so I've been really enjoying it. Definitely makes my foundation last a lot longer. Keeping on that bronze line, I don't know why, but um, this is the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer, and I've talked about this before, um, and they are all really shimmery, but what I like to use this for is for highlighting, particularly these two colors, even this one sometimes will work, um, and I just use that for highlighting, I just think it works super, super well, and I've been really into highlighting like the apples of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose and stuff, I just think it makes my cheeks look a little more lifted and makes me look a little more awake and happy, and I really need that. <laughs> Also found a new liner. A lot of people have been talking about this. This is Master Drama by Maybelline New York. Okay. And I love this. This is my new Holy Grail eyeliner. I love that it's an automatic pencil. Those are my favorite kind. Um, they just last so much longer for me. Um, and what I don't like about the non-automatic ones is how they get really short and then they're really hard to use. So I love this. Um, it stays really long in the waterline for a drugstore liner, so I really like that. It's pretty affordable. Mine was around $9, I think. So I definitely will be repurchasing this. This is Master Drama by Maybelline, and I don't know how many colors... Can't hold on to it. I don't know how many colors it comes in, but I just got the black one. Another thing along the lines of eyeliner, this is by Crown, and this is the C408 Smudge Brush. But any really stiff smudger, really, um, I've just kind of rediscovered this brush. I have another smudger. It's by Sephora's brush line. I think it's the number 41 or 14, something like that. But this one's very different. It's a lot stiffer and finer tipped. Like you can see, it's not very thick at all. And what I've been really loving to do is just take my like um, black eyeshadow, like Carbon by MAC or something, I think that's what I've been using, and smudge out my liner so it's kind of smokier. You probably can't see it on the video, but it actually does look a lot nicer, and I just really like using this for that. It's just kind of a rediscovery of this brush for me. I've used this in the past, but not for that purpose. Then, I talked about this in my Shop Your Stash video, but this is my 120 color palette 3rd edition, and I really, really love this palette. Um, mine is from BH Cosmetics, and I have just been obsessing over this. I like that this one has a lot more matte colors than the other ones. Um, if you want to know more about this palette, you can watch the Shop Your Stash video. I won't go too much into it, but I have been obsessing over that this month. 
Nail polish time! <laughs> I have three polishes that I've been really, really feeling. The first one is my Butter of London polish. This was my first Butter of London polish, and I was very impressed by this. It's lasting forever. It's been on my toes now over a month, and it has not chipped one bit. It's crazy. So, um, here's the swatch of it. I know I showed this in a haul, but I love this color. It's like a black base and then it's got these great like gold but it's more like a pirate's gold kind of a color it's just really really pretty it reminds me of a color that's no longer made it's by OPI and it's called um cat's eye I think it's called and they don't make it anymore and this is a great dupe for that it's a little different but I love this polish and now I feel a little more comfortable purchasing another Butter of London polish because they are super expensive. They're like $14. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to make sure. This one is called Wallace. Just so you guys know if you want to purchase this. And um, someone did ask me how the lids are. Actually, this is not what you use to apply. You undo this. You take this part off. And then... It has its own lid, and I can't get mine off right now, but <laughs> you get the point. So you're actually using this to apply the nail polish instead of holding this big awkward thing because that's one of the things I don't like about nail polishes with funky shapes is that the lid, ugh, no. It needs to be an easy-to-hold lid, guys. Another color I've been freaking out for is uh, by China Glaze. This came with my um, China Glaze Metro collection, the downtown version and this is West Side Warrior and it is definitely one of the most hyped up nail polishes of the group and here is a swatch of it hopefully you guys can see that it's just a really dark green it's really true to what it looks like in the bottle actually so that's almost a better um one to look at sorry the lighting is getting crazy in here I know um and then the last one is a new discovery this is called After Hours and it is from Urban Outfitters, and I had no idea Urban Outfitters had any nail polishes at all, and I was really, really excited to find this because, I don't know if you can see this, but it is flippin' beautiful, beautiful glitters. They're so, so fine, very tightly packed in there, um, and it's definitely holographic glitters, you guys. Here's a swatch of it. This lighting is not awesome for glitter polish, I'm sorry. There we go. Now you can kind of see how crazy beautiful this polish is. It's really super, super fine glitters. And they're very holographic, even more so in the actual sunlight. And this is about three coats. It's not quite opaque, but you could definitely put this over like a light pink or something, or a light purple, and it would be ridiculous. This is just such a like blinged out awesome glitter color and it really does look a lot like it does um, on the swatch as it does in the bottle. Okay guys, that's it for my October favorites. The last thing I want to talk about is these guys. I have been obsessing over these. These are the Caramel Apple Lollipops and you can only get them around Halloween time and I love them. They're so good. I bought like 15,000 bags of them so <laughs> your store probably won't have any because I bought them all. But if you see these, snatch them up because this is the only time of year they come out and they are so, so good. The best combo of like sweet and tangy and apple. I love apple flavor things. So this has been a huge obsession for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you do an October favorites video or um, if you just have some favorites you want to mention to me, similar products, anything like that. Let me know what you've been loving in the comments below. I love to hear what you guys like. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Bye!